why do we get hurt everybody might have come across a situation in their life where they were hurt by somebody else be it a stranger or a family member or a very close friend their boss their colleagues be it anybody somebody might have hurt you at any point of your life and for no reason you may have felt really very bad it is a common situation that many of us have faced in our lives but why does it hurt has anybody thought of it has anybody taken some time to think about why somebody's opinion or somebody's thoughts about you hurts you this is something that we should be thinking about let's analyze what actually happens when somebody hurts us let's consider situation um okay let us take an example you are a very strong brave person a tall person you your height is probably like uh, above the normal you look pretty good and you see somebody on the road a stranger who says hey you short guy why are you so short you look so awkward you don't look good at all you look ugly what would be your reaction would it bother you maybe you'll get angry at times yes when somebody whom you do not know comments about your looks or the way you are you might get angry that's natural but would it hurt you i don't think it would it because what they say is not true about you and you know it very well so this is something that we have to think when somebody speaks about something that is not true and you know it's not true it's not going to hurt you so we'll be able to find out why it hurts us when you're not sure about something and somebody says about it you think it's true and it hurts you or you think you already think you're not good at it and when somebody points it out it hurts you let's give another example to make it more simple for example you are fat yeah a chubby fat little girl for an example and somebody who's your friend or a stranger for that matter anybody they comment about your looks they say hey you look very fat you look so ugly and what happens let's say you know you're fat and you're okay with it or you are in a process of uh, being fit becoming fit you do exercise and all those stuff and you know what your plus and your minus are then the way you would handle it would be totally different it wouldn't hurt you much or to be more explicit it wouldn't hurt you at all it would just be an rehydration of the fact that you already know so you don't give people the power to control you to control your emotions or to hurt you on the other hand just in case you are already too much worried about your looks the fact that you are fat or you already have a kind of complex and you are regretting being fat then even if a stranger is going to speak about you being fat it would hurt you for sure so one thing that we understand here is that we have the power to control our emotions or we have the power not to let others hurt us if you say somebody has hurt me i would only say that you have given them the power to hurt you because as i've already said it is all up to you the way you take somebody's compliment or their comment it's up to you what somebody says is a reflection of what they are it necessarily need not be what you are because everybody has been brought up in a different situation they have been exposed to different social environments the way they have been brought up is totally different let's assume there are two guys who walk on the road and they see a puppy which is hurt it's bleeding and one guy who has been brought up explaining what compassion is what sympathy is how to treat people who are hurt their reaction to the situation would be totally different they would try to mend the dog they would try to treat it they will take care of it they'll see to it at least it is 
being taken care he, they would do something to it but on the other hand the other guy who does not know anything about love or compassion or they have been socially accustomed to mistreating things because that's how they have been brought up they do not ba- know the values they are they are morally morally unscrupulous you can't expect that person to take care of the dog he might as well go hurt it still he might he might throw stones at it because that's how they have been brought up you cannot blame the person either because that's how they have been brought up yes somebody who is mature enough and brought up the right way who has the right values and morals and ethics in their life would never hurt a person or never speak anything that would in any way uh, disrupt any person's peace and you should also be a person who does not do it you should not, just not just expecting others to be good to you is not enough you should be one who is good who does not mistreat people you should develop that kind of a maturity only then people would be treating you the same way and having spoken about what basically hurts us and what kind of people hurt or what kind of people mistreat others what if somebody who is a very close friend or or your your good relative or your spouse or your partner or your boss or anybody whom you have to be in touch on a regular basis and that person all of a sudden hurts you or say something that is hurting what do we do uh, it could be because of any reason might be that person was not in a good mood they were undergoing some other kind of issues which they were not able to share and they were projecting it out in a different way harshly on others spilling it wherever they go we should actually be feeling pity for them because they themselves are not able to handle whatever they're going through and just being angry at them or feeling hurt because they spoke something very harsh is not going to help then how do we handle the situation for a minute take their point of view i mean see from their perspective if you were that person you might have known that person very well yes so you can think what might actually have caused them to speak like that so give it a try just a try see why they might have spoken to you like that and if you are able to conclude that it's not the person who normally speaks like this it's there's something wrong with them they are undergoing something that they do not want to share or something is hurting them and that's the reason why they are spilling it like this on others hurting others then just be good enough to forgive them do not let it grow do not let the hatred in you grow have the courage to break the cycle of growing hatred just forgive them wish them healing wish them happiness and just thank god that you have the maturity to handle it differently who knows might be after they are normal back to normal they themselves might come and confess for what they have spoken on the other hand there are people who who you cannot change they are that way and they have been that way always what do we do with such kind of people the best thing is not to give them that much space do not give them that much power to control your emotions if they speak just do not bother about it you don't have to listen to it you don't have to take it to your heart just throw it away if somebody throws a stone at you or let's just say a baby a baby throws a, a toy that it has on you what would you do go fight with it it wouldn't be right you would just ignore it because you know it's a baby the same way i'm not just comparing babies in a sense with somebody who is uh, um who's ru- and lacks compassion but yeah in one way they are ignorant and i feel bad about them and i feel sorry for them because they do not know how good it is to be compassionate how happy it is to respect others how valuable it is to show empathy and sympathy apart from all these things understanding about others and seeing it from their point of view one best thing is to understand ourselves understand what our strengths and weakness are and understanding that we only have the power and nobody else we are giving the power to control us to control our emotions to speak about us even if they do speak it shouldn't affect you when you are really strong and you know what you are and very confident of what you are 
none can influence you what others say will never have an impact on you that's a level of freedom different level of freedom you should realize it if you take time sit alone and think about what's bothering you be it anything any childhood trauma any relationship that went sour or any friendship that turned bad or the fight between your f- friends or anything for that matter you would find that you were hurt or you hurt them and that's the reason why it is all hanging up like that and if you want to fix your life first of all fix your thinking fix what you are in your mind then everything will automatically get fixed and it will be a very beautiful life a perfect beautiful happy life that's what everyone look forward to right most of the problems in our life would be solved if we take time to sit analyze and think how we can solve it instead of putting the blame on others or just blaming somebody for that's happening in your life so the next time when you feel that somebody is going to hurt you or somebody tries to hurt you remember you have the power to let who hurt you also remember nobody is a buddha here so people tend to make mistake people do get angry people do misinterpret and the only way to solving a problem or a crisis is to analyze also analyze from their perspective what made them speak that way and convey the solution in a way that does not hurt anybody just the thought in your mind that you should not hurt anybody would transform into words and actions which would not hurt so the basic thing is to inculcate the thought of being at peace being in harmony with the nature this way you could avoid getting hurt and hurting others and lead a happy life a life that's full of happiness peace and joy of course life is to enjoy why should you get yourself hurt or hurt others and create all this unwanted drama let's wish for a happy life a healthy mind and create one thank you